Hello everyone and welcome to another video. Now today we're going to be talking about this. This is the result of a scam. Now uh, I apologise if there's any background noise. We've got the doors open, we've got fans on. It's a very hot day here in England, quite surprisingly. So anyway, the other day I was looking for an XFX small form factor single slot RX460. Now I find these cards quite interesting. I'd love to get my hands on one to review. And I came across this seller who was offering them for £50. Now that's not too big of a deal considering that these usually retail for about 100 here in the UK. Um, £50 is roughly $60, $65, something like that. So the idea of getting one at that price wasn't too far-fetched. However, as I checked out the seller's feedback, pages and pages of negative. I mean, no one was receiving what they had ordered, and if they were, it was totally wrong. They weren't getting their hands on what they had paid full price for. You know, some people were getting just used, binned parts that weren't working, broken, or just an entirely different card. Now, I'm not sure if this seller was legitimately making about a thousand mistakes a month, or they just uh, were trying their luck for as long as they could before um, this popular online auction site decided to ban them. So, what I have here, and I'm not kidding you, this is how it turned up, is certainly not a slim small form factor RX460, but I thought we would unbox it anyway and take a look at what I actually received. I haven't actually opened this. All I've done is tear my address off there. And uh, yeah, <laughs> this is it. This is how it came. There was a bit more tape. I have started to unravel the tape a bit, but let's get inside this thing and see what I actually got. So peeling off this rather tough layer of tape here and pulling out this card reveals that this <laughs> <laughs> is by no means an RX 460. It is in fact an NVIDIA NVS 315. So, I've never heard of one of these. I presume it's a Quadro card for um, like multiple displays because I don't think the Quadro cards were intended for gaming. <laughs> Whatever it is, <laughs> I'm sure it's not worth £50 anymore. Oh. So in fact I just looked up what these are retailing for and some of them are ending with bids of like £10, £15. So I suppose that's not too bad of a scam. At least I received something. So we're going to actually make the best of this bad situation. Let me give you a closer look of that right there. And see how this thing actually performs in games. Because I don't want my £50 to go to waste. <laughs> Oh man, you know, when I saw the negative feedback, I sort of jumped into buying it on purpose. I knew this was going to be bad, it was going to end badly, but I thought, why not just buy it anyway, see what I actually get, if anything. And, well, this is what I've ended up with. So let's jump into our PC gameplay right now and see what this thing can do, not just in terms of gaming, of course, but general performance. Let's give this card a little bit of a review. So what bothers me most isn't the scam itself, but all these cables I had to buy in order to get this thing working. But we put it in our system, fired it up, and it turned on just fine. And because this card supports DirectX 11, it will run all of those latest games. Well, maybe not quite run them, but it will start them up anyway. It was clear we'd have to be a bit easier on this card, and so we started off with Team Fortress 2, which ran at 60 frames per second on average. Not a bad first result, and to be honest, you won't, you can't expect to play more intensive games with this thing. Now, every NVS card has a GeForce uh, counterpart, and I believe in this case that would be the GT520. Um, so the 520 actually has all 96 cores enabled, but this one is sort of the disabled version with just 48, and really isn't intended for gaming as such, just for workstation and video editing purposes. In fact, I edited this video using the card, and whilst it isn't really that powerful, it did a pretty good job. I experienced no hiccups, any bad stuttering, anything like that, and to be honest, it was a pleasant experience in using it. So I guess you could say the proof in that is that I used it pretty much all day as I was testing it out. It's certainly no 460 as I expected, but it will do for perhaps a secondary PC build. 
Dirt 3 here also ran pretty well at 720p to be honest with the low settings to achieve 40 frames per second as well so if you're looking to play Dirt it really isn't too bad. Finally we tested GTA 5 a little bit more of an intensive game and you won't really be able to handle anything like this. Also a quick word on Overwatch because a lot of you asked me about it it really didn't run well on this card at all so all in all although I didn't really get what I expected from my purchase I did still get a card that although isn't great for gaming could still be used in a budget world workstation build uh, for perhaps editing as I mentioned before or a little bit of using CAD applications like that if that's what you're into of course. So there we have it this has been the NVIDIA NVS 315 unintentional video review I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm thinking maybe I'll turn this into a series every so often where I just buy things that are obviously a scam and seeing what I actually get if anything and then reviewing those products anyway. As always I hope you've enjoyed this video I know it's been a little bit different but I just had to uh, make this once I uh, saw that I was about to get scammed big time so uh, yeah as always I hope you've enjoyed it leave a like if you did leave a dislike if you didn't subscribe to the channel if you haven't done so already have a good weekend guys and hopefully I'll see you very soon